obviously uh, want to congratulate Coach Muss and the basketball team for their win uh, yesterday over Colgate. And, and uh, I want to thank the fans. I don't know, we must have had two or 3,000 people come out uh, to the scrimmage today. And, and I know it means a lot to our players and means a lot to our coaching staff. And we want to thank them. Uh, I think we saw enough good on both sides of the ball uh, to be encouraged. And I think we saw enough things that uh, certainly that we need to improve on and work on. And, uh, but I, I, was, I was proud of the organization of the scrimmage, uh, the way our kids competed. And, and, and as of right now, I, don't, I think we came out uh, fairly injury free uh, from today's practice. So uh, I was proud of the way the kids competed. Obviously, we have things to work on, but we did see some positive things as well. Dre, you want to get us started? Uh, Coach, curious uh, what you thought of your your quarterbacks uh, the day that that KJ, Malik, all those guys had. Yeah, you know, we uh, honestly, we Dre, we we missed too many balls. You know, we had uh, some of the same things happening in practice. We're holding the ball too long. You know. Uh, there's a fine line in there and just putting the quarterback live and, and teaching him how to get rid of the football and, and then uh, not, but we're, we're holding the ball too long, uh, which means one of two things. We're either not getting open or we're not understanding the defensive coverage or, or, uh, and then, you know, we just missed too many open uh, receivers uh, at the quarterback spot. So, you know, none of them, if you look at it, Trey, none of those guys have had much game experience. And to be honest with you, that's why I wanted to scrimmage three times this, this spring. I want to scrimmage this one and then in two weeks and then the spring game because uh, we're, we're inexperienced at that position. Uh, I thought they did a good job of, of running the offense, uh, but obviously there were some guys open out there that I wish that they were thrown and catch, caught the ball a little bit better. I wanted to ask you about a specific player, Raheem Sanders. I don't know if that's an experiment or anything at running back or if he's permanent there, but he had, he had some good runs today. What have you thought about uh, what he's done so far? You know, Trey's a wonderful kid. He's a hard worker and, and uh, very, um, let's see, meticulous about what he does and the way he handles his business. I thought he played well today. Trey, we – we moved him to running back day one when he came in. I don't know that that was a that was necessarily the thought when we recruited him, uh, but you know we need a big back, and he's you know he's a couple hundred pounds, a little bit more probably, and and we needed a little faster big back. We had Dominique, but we we needed that, and and so we went immediately there. And I thought he did a nice job. He's still you know, he's still struggling a little bit in pass protection. I'm not talking about the physicality of it, but understanding protections and, but man, how valuable spring ball is for those kids. I think we've found a, a, a really fine player there. Tom. Hey, Sam, um, a couple of your standouts looked to me had big scrimmages talking about um, Traylon Smith ran well and it looks like Burke showed up too. If you could talk about those two guys. Yeah, isn't it amazing how guys that's played before usually play pretty good, you know, in, in the spring. Uh, you know, Burks is a talented, talented kid. You know, everybody knows that. Uh, but, you know, he went out and got one in the end zone. I'm, I'm not positive. I don't have the stats. I'm not positive about what all he did. But I know he's a good football player. And then Smitty, uh, you know, he got one gear, and that's full throttle. You know, and uh, that's what makes him a good football player. He's a physical kid, not big, but he plays much more physical, much heavier than what he is. And, and uh, those guys have done a nice job of leading and trying to teach younger guys uh, uh, behind them in their position. They're good leaders on our football team as well. Okay, and I also wanted to ask you about first team defense impressions there. And I think you ended up with six or seven sacks. Yeah, you know, in the spring, um, a lot of times, you know, when the quarterback doesn't have an opportunity to uh, get away from a from a touch, there was at least five of them where there's no way he got out of there, you know. But a lot of times, uh, I thought at least early today, and I'll have to watch the tape, but I thought 
at least early the sacks that we were taking at quarterback was the quarterback's fault. I thought that we could get rid of the ball. We can get it. We were out of the pocket on a couple of them that we can just throw the ball, you know, past the line of scrimmage. We're in good shape. But uh, um, I think that the sacks have to do, we, we had a back get beat in a sack once. So I think it has to do with a lot of things, but we, that we have to get better there. And we made emphasis on it and we did it. We have the whole entire time, but we made a huge emphasis on it. I don't know if y'all were there at the time. No, it was indoors, but uh, on on uh, Thursday, uh, we just had a blitz pickup with the line, the backs, and the tight ends, and of course the defense and and and, and their safeties. Uh, but we have to get better at that. I think a lot of it's communication problems that that we're trying to clean up. And I'm not for sure the other part uh, of your conversation question how the first unit on defense looked maybe i thought they started out slow um and then they picked it up uh you know we're doing a, a few things different than what we did last year uh, we have to have the d line to continue to come on i think i think uh you know coach uh, Ashley's done a really good job with those guys but they have to continue to come on i thought dorian gerald had a good day today and uh, but we've got to find some big guys that that can continue to help us like Eric and Carter's and those guys. We you know, we have to get heavier and thicker in there and better in, in, in the D line. But overall, I think they came back. You know, I think in the red area, uh, they blew a coverage and the offense scored on them. And then uh, th first and 10 from the four, the offense, they were run the ball in uh, two in two snaps on the on the ones. and. Honestly, that's I wanted to see that. I wanted to see if we could stop them or, or I, I did not want Kendall to throw the football down there. I want to see if we can stop the run. Can we run the football? So uh, they got beat in some situations, even though on third down and um, very various uh, distance. Uh, I think the ones uh, defense was two for six, two out of eight in that in that in that position. So again, when I first started about there was some good and bad, I think, on both sides. It, it wasn't a scrimmage that was dominated by one side. And to be honest with you, as a head coach, that's what you – that's a scrimmage you like. Otis. I hear you a little bit, Otis, but I – Otis, you're muted. I'm not a rookie, but this, I, can't, I act like it. Uh, Jaden Johnson, two young guys, Coach, I know you had to watch film, but Jaden Johnson, Chris Paul, they made some plays out there today. Not only today, but how have they looked through the time? I, I like both of them a lot. Um, Johnson's running with the twos. Uh, big, thick, heavy, smart guy that it's important to him. And then and uh, Pooh, when, when, when Pooh came in, when he came in, he was, he was out of shape. And I didn't know if he could run, you know, I mean, you couldn't ever, you couldn't figure it out in the off season until about the last two weeks. Uh, but he's thick now. He's a heavy, thick, uh, smart. Uh, I, th I think he's going to be a really good player in the future if he continues to work. But I, I like those to answer your question. I like both those kids. Uh, I think we've got really good players there. Thanks, Coach. Dudley. You know, obviously spring practice used to be a normal thing. Last year, y'all didn't get to have it. Is there a sheer joy to just being out there, being able to practice and develop this year? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, uh, what we had to talk about a lot, Dudley, in, in our staff meeting was we haven't had any of these spring practice, you know, any spring scrimmage. It was a, it was new for all of us. And uh, so we, we were very um, – meticulous in the way that we went about it and and uh, trying to go with a fine-tuned comb we knew we was going to have people on the stands we didn't want to look all you know unorganized unorganized out there we knew we had anywhere from the ones to the fours playing and anywhere from ones to the four, fours on punting and kicking and to me that's what springs for uh it's for finding out about the guys you don't know about and and uh, it was a lot of fun and I'm very, very, we, we all are very honored that we had that many people come out and interested in, in Arkansas football. 
Hutch. <coughs> yeah, Sam, you touched on it a little bit earlier, but the the third down segment, the defense kind of dominated that air, uh, portion of the scrimmage. Has that kind of been a, a theme throughout the spring so far? Or is that something the offense, that one of those points of emphasis moving forward, third downs? Well, Hutch, it's not just the offense. Our defense wasn't very good on third down last year either. So we've made a big, big emphasis on third down. Uh, uh, we're trying to do a little bit different uh, on offense. We're trying to help ourselves a little bit more with some protections. Uh, and on defense, we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, be able to play man coverage, and uh, um, which we didn't try a lot last year. It was, you know, drop eight and pray that we get home or pray that we can cover them, you know, and we have to move the quarterback. Everybody knows that. And the only way you can do that is – get somebody back there around him. So, uh, but we found, you know, we knew during the season as well, but third down was our nemesis a little bit of getting off the field and, and staying on the field. So today I felt like the defense won that without really any question. And, and uh, certainly that'll give our offense, uh, we'll have to continue to work there as well. And seemed like y'all did a lot of special teams today. Uh, was that was, is that going to be a staple of y'all's spring scrimmages, or is that something you decided after watching last season you need maybe more some focus on that? Well, twofold. Um, uh, you know, obviously we have to get better on special teams, and um, a lot of that has to do honestly with your kickers and your returners. You know, and we've got to find a punt returner. We have to, and uh, we have to find somebody that they're scared to kick off to. And uh, uh, that's part of it. But if we scrimmaged last year, it would have been the identical format that we had today. Um, we've got to find elite guys that can return. And we've got to get kickoff guys we trust that won't kick it out of bounds. And we have to get uh, punters that we trust that will uh, punt it with length, height, and in the right area, right field zone. And that's why we did it. We're, we're trying to we're trying to make them compete. All right, let me know if you've got more questions in the chat and raise your hand. Trey. Hey, Coach, uh, I was wondering if there's anybody that's maybe even it's unexpected, but just surging ahead. I mean, you've got 20 guys that started the last game back from last year. Is there anybody that you're like, this guy is really, really coming at this particular position? You know, that's a really good question. I, you know, uh, Hayden Henry, he didn't play today. We're, we're trying to hold him out. You know, he's had some shoulder problems in the past. And one of the, I don't know if you call it a deal I made, but I wanted him to come back because I think he's a good football player. And, and one of the things was that we'd let, his, let him get his shoulders strong. He's really had a good offseason. Uh, our linebackers as a whole uh, are improving uh, big time. But as far as uh, guys sticking out, I think Soli's having a better camp. Uh, obviously, Zach Williams having a better camp uh, on the offensive line. You know, Tykeus Crawford, he didn't he didn't participate today, but he's a guy that we're really pleased uh, with what he's done so far. Uh, I think the young kids with Henderson and St. John's, they're coming on. I think they're going to be good players for us. And we talked about Rocket at running back. I think he's going to – going to help us. And then at the wideout, we're really pleased with uh, uh, both Jaden and uh, Keytron. Uh, I think they're going to be good players. Keytron's knee's probably not quite healed up yet, but uh, uh, he's probably about 90% right now. But on defense, you know, we talked about uh, Johnson, who, and, uh, you know, we just, again, we, we're looking for, we need some help on the D line. So we, We've got to go out and find somebody there as well. They're playing well, but we need some more depth. I was curious also about Trey Knox. Um, you weren't here in 19, but it feels like he kind of slipped off. And I mean, in his production from 19 to, to 20, what what do you see out of him that he needs to improve on and, and how has his camp or his spring been so far? Well, I think he's working really hard. And, you know, he, he, he knew and he got to be a better route runner. He's got to be able to, you know, on his breaks, get off, get off of coverage, especially man coverage, because that's that's what this league does. He's got to be consistent with his catching, but he's working at it. I don't know Trey, to be honest with you, that he 
didn't play as well last year as he had before. But then you look at Tyson Morris, did he, you know, did he start playing better? Did mm -hmm. uh, I know Davion Warren played better than he had before. So, um, you know, you've got Burks and then you got Woods and then, you know, Knox and then Morris and Jaquaden Crawford wasn't able to play today as well. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of pretty talented guys at wide receiver. So you kind of got to be on your A game. But I think Trey's improved. And uh, if he'll continue to catch a ball consistently and, and do uh, get the separation at the top of his route, I think it'll really help him. Thanks, Coach. Tom? Yeah, Sam, what do you want to see out of Tuesday and then heading into spring break? Yeah, Tuesday, uh, we're going to get after it again on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to try to correct the mistakes that we made in this, in this scrimmage. Uh, but Tuesday will be physical. Um, you know, we still have, we, we have to continue to run the ball better. That's the bottom line. Good teams, they run the ball when they want to run the ball. I mean, that's what it is. And the, and the good teams stop, stop the run when they want to stop the run. And they take half the game away from people. And that's been a big concentration for us. You guys, have been out there and we're running a two spot and we're running like it's a physical practice every day. It will be again on Tuesday. There won't be a whole lot of tapering off this spring, but on Tuesday, I just want to get what we had corrected and, and play better fundamentals and be physical. And if we can do that, we'll, 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 we we'll would have had a great seven days. I know today wasn't a great scrimmage. I don't know how you view them. I wish we wouldn't have jumped off sides on defense and stayed on sides on offense. And I don't like it when our team talks to each other. I don't like it. So I told them after the scrimmage, if we if we can just not beat ourselves and make somebody beat us, uh, I think that'll be hard to do if we if we continue to improve. Hutch. Yeah, Coach, a couple of guys that we didn't see play today, uh, Jalen Catalan, Isaiah Nichols. Uh, could you provide an update on those guys and maybe anybody else? Well, they're both hurt. I mean, they're, they've are both got small injuries, and and uh, so they'll be back. Uh, Cat will be back uh, Tuesday. And then uh, uh, I don't know um, how long uh, that Nick Nichols will be out. I, I, I probably probably won't play him Tuesday and see if we can't get this uh, discretionary week uh, that can get him back to full health. Uh, just got a nagging foot deal. Nate, did you have a question? I'm sorry. Okay, everybody, we good? Oh. Yeah. No, I just as far as it was the physicality and the offensive and defensive line at all what you wanted today. I think so. You know, to be honest with you, I, I, and again, I haven't seen it, but at least on the field, it looked like we ran the ball pretty well with the ones on offense. Um, I don't know that, but it, it felt that way. I, I know that the defense stepped up and had a nice third and two stop uh, on on the offensive line, uh, all, offensive. But I felt like we ran the ball a little bit better than than uh, what what I even expected that we might. Uh, you know, our defensive line is a work in progress. We got a heck of a coach coaching them, and Coach Ashley, and I think they're going to get better. But they they worked their butt off, so I, I anticipate them getting uh, much better. They had they had several sacks. We just got to be better at stopping the run in there, and we've got to get help uh, with on the edge coming up a little bit faster to turn the ball back into our linebackers. Thanks. All right. That wraps up. Thanks, Coach. Have a great weekend, guys.